Welcome, friends, to Making Mondays. We are um, celebrating and affirming together uh, as all of our thoughts are in Orlando. Um, we chose this song tonight uh, to be with everyone in Orlando who needs a friend tonight, and also with everybody watching us, not watching us, around the world, who feels lonely or lost or scared about the world we're living in today, we have this to say to you. friends you have got friends and we are all here for making Mondays we are here to create to collaborate to inspire each other with you together let's see what we make where shall we start Look at this amazing group of people. <laughs> Who's here? Who's here? Hi, Max. Hi, Vanessa. hi, world. Thank you for joining us tonight. So, Max, you were talking yeah. so beautifully before we started about where your heart and your head is right now. Yeah. Um, it's been it's been such a tough week. Last week after the shooting, I I didn't want to go to work. I didn't want to go to the Tony Awards. And then work was really hard that day. Yeah. I couldn't quite figure it out how to get there. And some people, it's interesting, you know, some people are affected immediately, some people aren't affect, really affected at all because we're so, so many Americans are so numb to something like that happened on Sunday. It keeps happening. It, it, it keeps, keeps happening. And, people, and I walked into work and I was really down. I remember someone be like, what's the matter? I was like, oh gosh, I'm just really down after this morning. And I don't know if I can do the matinee. And I remember just being like, come on, we'll pull it together. Got to get those juices flowing. You got a matinee. And I just thought, Mm, no, well, I, 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 I will pull it together, I'll have an awesome show, but it's just not where I was. But then the show was just so therapeutic for me, and, yeah. and then going to the Tonys, I just thought, yeah, I'm going to go to the Tonys, because <laughs> what better way to work through this than to celebrate like the community that I fall in love with, and that like since I was a little kid, the theater community was what, like, the first community in the world that made me feel okay. Yeah. It made me feel equal, made me feel normal. So I was like, yeah, I'm going to go to the Tonys and I'm going to celebrate it. So it just, you realize that you do go on, but I'm definitely, I feel like a slightly different person. A newer, a more, a prouder, a more, I've got a fire, a new fire in me to just somehow make a change. I'm not sure exactly what. Yeah. But just, uh, uh, just it affected me like no, nothing else has. Everyone has their point, I guess. It shouldn't have taken that shooting, but it was, it was the thing for me that just changed. People are life. saying I feel the same way. I love how and accepting and opening the theater community is so yeah. much love. Yeah, I think that's part of 
creating is mm -hmm. first accepting. It's mm -hmm. very difficult to create something new if you can't accept what is and who who you who are. You are. Yeah. If you, yeah. I was like a wound up little like teenage kid until I found music which led me to theater and singing mm. which led me to that world where I finally felt like oh and even though I wasn't out you know as a teenager I was myself for the first time and you yeah. and that was a f then I could actually create and you get the more you're in touch with yourself and accepting of yourself the more you'll be able to yeah give back to the world I think that's so interesting is finding places where you feel you are yourself and I think yeah. that's part of what we're creating here. Yeah. Uh, you awesome. Max, you are so inspiring. People uh, told me to stop loving Broadway so that I could be cool. <laughs> no, 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 no. Loving Broadway is cool in this room. <laughs> yes. So you hang with us. <laughs> Someone said thanks for my Snapchat story too, because that day I was really moved. And I thought, do we, yeah. do we share all this? Is it too much? Yes, but we I do. do these silly things on Snapchat where I always lip sync to like cheesy Broadway musicals. I it gets those. me going I in the show. Them. I it's love my favorite. Them. And I actually couldn't do it for a few days because I just didn't have it. And then the other night I just like had it again. You know, it just took me a few days. Like, but I love sharing and it's another social media and all these incredible things such a great way to just does everybody watch max's snap watch pre me on pre -show snapchats. Snapchats. <laughs> it's something if you like broadway <laughs> yes you're gonna like my snapchats oh max communal pad. catharsis and mourning yeah i like that very much mm -hmm. communal catharsis and mourning snaps are great That's what we're following doing. now all right we're um so i was sort of <laughs> max your snapchats make me, me pee, pee my, my pants, pants funny <laughs> um i was inspired slash nudged by um, Max and our other uh, Tony Awards red carpet hosts oh, to yes. uh, engage in the Snapchat. How are you liking the snap? Snapchattery. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Watching him get on Snapchat for the first time. And Laura Michelle Kelly. Is Laura Michelle coming? Laura Michelle um, Kelly is Laura coming Michelle, too. Laura Michelle, Karen Olivo, watching you guys, it was like watching someone like trip for the first time or like try That's to what it for felt the first like. time. That literally what it felt like. the face swapping and the filters, they were not prepared for any of that. Yes, if you would like on? to see Laura Michelle Kelly's uh, face on my body and she on, or hers on mine, go to my Instagram. <laughs> Are there people here not on Snapchat maybe? I might have to get some of them on Snap. Do it. Do it. All right. Follow me. So, Follow us. Uh, what are you on Snapchat? Max, Maxi's Pat. Maxi's Pat. -S -I -Z -P on Snapchat, I'm Roth underscore Jordan. But we've got <laughs> so much going on here tonight. Let's get going. So, for those who are new to Making Mondays, we create all kinds of things together. We explore creativity in all kinds of ways. And Drew is exploring the creativity of mixology. Okay, so tonight we're using... Hi, batch Drew. Of, hi, I'm Drew. We're um, not making pies tonight. We're not making pies tonight. We're making... Drinks. Nice. And we're making this delicious drink called a Martinez, which is like an 1850s-ish pie. Hi. Thank you. It's very nice. Hi, Drew. Drew, I love you and waitress. Oh, It's like, this is like a sweet drink. It's kind of like, it would go well with pie and with dessert. But it's like a little bit of Old Tom Gin, a little bit of maraschino liqueur, a little bit of sweet vermouth, and whatever kind of bitters you want. So I have this friend that makes this lovely bitters called Burroughs Bitters. And like, you can explore all kinds of different kinds of flavors. Like there's lemon, and cinnamon, and, and orange, and apple. And like, so any kind of like flavor you really want to get with anything I hate to. That's cool. Like a bitters and soda is great with breakfast. Also, very good for the digestion, I have learned. Yeah, because the stomach. You gotta be careful. I'm eating a lot of sugar these days. So this is really just kind of exploring that. Also part. butter and flour. Which we just did, saying. We did a thing once, and some lady told Sarah Bareilles that there's actually no like sugar in the pie crust, and Sarah was like, "I'm not, I'm not changing the words." Okay, I know it's like, that's amazing. So facts are amazing. Let's make this drink. Okay, what do you got? So we start here with a smidge of Old Tom Gin. I have to pause while you're uh, yeah, making to, to say that Duncan Levin, a friend from high school, has joined us. Hi, and Sarah Cord, a friend from college, says, Jordan, you make my Mondays. Thank you for watching. I miss you. 
Yeah. All right. Yeah. What's happening over here? We're trying it. Although, Allie had a great idea to follow up. Okay, so sit with this and then, like, a bite of the crystallized ginger. Yeah. Okay. Let's see it. Okay, so, like... Sip ginger. It's like a classy chaser. Sip. <laughs> Creativity. And it's really, where, this is where collaboration happens. I had brought the crystallized ginger to make Irish mules. But Allie found a way to work it in. Listen, when there's like something sweet on the table, I'm like, why not take the drink and then chase it with something sweet? It's like candy. It's a can I love this. I love like this. Candy. All right, so Ryan is here. To create some dance. Yeah. Ryan. So I had this idea that I'm hoping I can turn into a prompt. Yes. So what I love about what's happening, there's like all these cool spaces over yes. here. Um, and so I sort of have this crazy idea that we could use the space and, you know, you as cameraman, I could essentially dance you through the space. I'm so in. And, <laughs> dance me through the and, space. And, and, you know, as if I'm guiding you as a, as a, as a cameraman, sort of like a steady cam guy, but I will dance you around. Okay, this is going to be a Making Mondays first. Ryan is going to dance me around, and I am so ready. But we need a song. We need so a song. I thought okay. this would lead us into a prompt. So it, I, I would love like an, an up-tempo, summery song. Okay. Feel good, summer groove. Great. Like something if you, back when we used to have cassettes, you know, you put it in the cassette player, you drive. That. That kind of thing. Okay. So, we are looking for uh, a summer upbeat, poppy, happy, sure. yep. sexy song. Feel good. Feel good song. We need some recommendations so Ryan can choreograph to it and then choreograph and me choreograph in it. Cake by the Ocean, okay. Summer Lovin', okay. Happy. Happy, sure. As in Classic. Because I'm. Uh huh. All right, hey, keep the suggestion. Me Too by Megan Trainer. Okay, sure. Brave, Brave. good. Another great. boat for cake by the ocean. Okay, we're gonna look up this song. That one conga song by Gloria Estefan. <laughs> Do you guys know? No, cake by, by the Megan Trainer. Can't that. stop the feeling by Justin Timberlake. Okay. Oh, I love that one. That's really a good great. one. That's good. I'm gonna look uh, at this cake by the ocean is A plus. Okay. That's three votes for cake by the ocean. Shake it off, Taylor Swift. All summer long, Beach Boys. Good. All right, more suggestions. Summer in the city. Levels, Nick Jonas. Song. All right, we're, we're testing the song. Cool. We're testing the song. Let's do it. It's Cake by Ocean. That Done. First one. We have a uh, we have a winner, Cake by the Ocean. That was three three suggestions. Uh, so we're in. So Great. here's what's gonna happen. Ryan and Kelly hey. and Tyler. Yo. Are going and anyone to, else we can recruit and anybody in. else that they can recruit out of this room are going to take the next 20 minutes? Yeah. Okay. And. <laughs> yeah, sure. Or 20. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Great. No, no, no. It's not real. Um, so they're going to take the next couple of minutes and create something, mm -hmm. then come back into the room yep. or maybe create it in the room so we will watch people rehearsal will be in all of the rooms all of the rooms my kind and of dance and then I'll come back and I'll dance you through it okay so you guys have to stay tuned to see what emerges out of cake by the ocean cool cool okay i'm kind of being a geek and i'm a little bit embarrassed about it no uh -uh. no geeks in this room i mean geek is like a positive yes. word <laughs> we're good hashtag good geeks uh -huh. yeah. all right okay. god speed friends thank you so if you're just joining us this is making mondays and yes thank you this is the room where it happens geek and proud dude amen so one of the things we do is create dance. Ryan and Kelly and Tyler are going to do that. Another thing we do is create plays. Yep. Hello, Kate Weatherhead. Hi, everybody. How are you this evening? So, Kate is an inspiration to me. She is an actress um, and has also now made herself into a writer. A writer of plays and a writer of books. Yes? And web series. And a writer of web series, of course. And uh, so tonight I'm going to uh, write some kind of play. Yes, he sub only. Oh, there Thank it you, is. Kevin. 
I have oh, both of her books that I wrote with Andrew Keenan Bolter. Yes, he's my my collaborator and partner in crime. Um, can I ask questions? Am I allowed to ask yes, questions? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so here's the question I have for everybody. Um, what do you? What's the thing that you hate about large social gatherings? Like, what's the thing that makes it either stressful or annoying or confusing, upsetting? Like, just some something of, you know that, that you feel or experience in large social gatherings. Great. So we're hearing loud that I'm always left out, not knowing people, small talk, awkward conversations. Cramp loud spaces, transitioning away from a conversation. Good one. Yeah, how the hell do Large you social gatherings themselves, lame food choices, can't hear, having people not come and Jokes talk to you, landing. judgment, not being able to fit in, getting everyone's attention. Hard to get a word in. Hard to get a word in. Republicans. Someone's um, saying, hey, love. Like my social, social anxiety, anxiety. yes. Shy clam. Crowded. It's hard sometimes, not knowing how to make a graceful exit. Not outgoing enough. Best, best, best burn, burn when you eat spicy, spicy food. food. Okay. Yeah. Feeling like uh, <laughs> you're not liked. Oh my gosh, these are all really Fear of saying really something good. wrong, not knowing I what to be say. All of this down. Wanting to hide in the bathroom. Okay. okay. Wait. My brain Being is over or underdressed. Okay. Not that great with new people. FOMO. What does that mean? Fear of missing out. Oh, thank you. Um, America, I don't know anything. Trying to make awkward small talk. Okay, these are great. These are great. This is gold. Honestly, so so here's what here's what's so inspiring to me about what we're doing together is Kate asks a question like that, which is really about feeling alone, right? You come into a party and you think this doesn't work for me, and look at all of us who have the same reaction. But we're not alone. Right. So We're all you feeling uncomfortable. The party, know that 85% of the people feel exactly the way you do. At least the creative ones. Yeah. All right, so Kate is going to take all of this that you've yeah. given and write whatever comes to her. Yeah. We're going to print it out in, say, I don't know, half hour? Yeah. And cast it in this room. Perhaps Kate will cast herself, perhaps not. She is free to do as she pleases. And we're going to see what happens. All right, so, yes, we're all hashtag good geeks. So, stay tuned. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Hi, Adam Fleming. Hi. Hi, what's going on? So, Adam Fleming, we have a lot of people here tonight who uh, are creating themselves through all of the things that are interesting and inspiring to them. And you are one of those people. Yeah. And I love that. <laughs> also, let me see your shirt. Bonjour, Monday. Bonjour, Monday. Bonjour. I think maybe you are the best dressed making Monday. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So tell us about all of the things you're doing and the journeys that you've oh, been taking. Oh my God, so many journeys. Um, well, I guess about a year ago. Anyway, thanks for coming. Enjoy yourselves. Have fun. How much longer do you think we have to stay? Five minutes. Three. One. None? <laughs> yes. Yes! Yeah. 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 Yay! 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 Amazing. All right, Kate. All right. Talk to us. Talk back. Talk back. Yeah. Talk back. Yeah. Well, uh, I was very, You're getting very huge very applause. Oh! Make the cold read with staging. Uh, exits and entrances, uh, really, just all we need are the costumes, and I think we'll, we'll be good to go. While Kate was writing that play live in this room in the last 20 minutes, um, Adam and <laughs> Ali and Julie were creating physical space inspiration. God. <laughs> How you enter here, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you come here, it's kind of like a, an entry uh, kind of maze, like if you like will. And then in here, this is the party area. You know, I'm, I think this is outside. I don't know. Yes, it feels um, outside. And this is a, this is a ramp up to the stage. Uh huh. Um, and that's it. I love this it. This is where you get to live. Wait, what about this time? This guy. Well, this is apparently. Well, Allie thinks this is the the front of a Miami home. <laughs> and I think she's not far off. I it's love very this. Versace mansion. Yeah. Colors like take us. 
And this is the beginning of a piece. We don't know what it is yet, oh, yeah. but it's the beginning. Who knows where it's going? It could go anywhere. I love this. So really, that's what we're working on here um, is beginnings. How do we start? How do we, how do we have nothing on a page, nothing in our, in our heads, nothing on a canvas, and begin? That's the hardest part. But it seems like when we do it together, when we make a party out of it, <laughs> we start. And then we keep going. Don't have to know how it ends. Ah, oh, hashtag. <laughs> Don't have to know how it ends. I love that. I love that. Um, um, about, uh, with the audience, we talked about on Thursday in Britain, in the UK, they're having a referendum um, to vote to see whether the UK is going to leave the European Union. Yeah. Brexit. It's Brexit. And it's quite a big deal over there. To be written and to make it even uh, a little bit <laughs> uh, so we'll see what happens but anyways the uh, our viewers gave me some amazing um things about britain like little cultural things that europe might miss if britain takes off on them so mine just, was prince george which didn't make the cut because i couldn't what do you rhyme george with are you with? fucking kidding me what do you rhyme george with <laughs> george like orgy unbelievable orgy yes I have to tell you, it feels brutal to get cut, but it's part of the process. It's part of the process. We're gonna work, kill your darlings. We're gonna work through it together. Okay, so guys, you gotta help me just to sort of set the mood. Mm -hmm. Let um, Drew sing my soul to me, please. So we're gonna, some people are gonna do this for me just at the introduction, just to give it some atmosphere. Um, we're gonna have some people going. Um, got together Britain it was meant to be with your bangers mash and your funny looking cash honey in and your west phones I'd hate if you said goodbye can't you won't you know you can you'll make us cry cuz if you leave us now you're gonna break our needy European heart if you leave us now, you tear the global economic whoops shit economic market apart. Yeah. And <laughs> we've created a song, we've created a play, we've created Legos, we've created drinks. Time to create a dance. Yeah. All right, here we go. one time, good. If you haven't been cast in the dance, um, I have a role for you, a cameo. You just have to sit in one of these chairs, and I'll talk to you. Okay. We'll talk you through it. I can so bring them up to speed. If you, you can bring them up to speed. Yeah. yeah. All right. While we're going out to the dance, we're going to take a peek at Andre's magnificent progress. Ways, you're a genius. An inspiration. God. Thrilling. Okay. Off to the dance, Marcus. Juggle us into the dance. He's in the dance. Oh, you're in the dance. Oh, yeah, okay. In there. <laughs> Sorry, forget it. Okay, we're going into the dance. I gotta check my time. Hey, Keith. What's our time? Nine thirty. Okie doke. Here we go. It's time for the dance. Ryan, take us out. I'm feeling last minute dance preparation. I'm so excited too. Amazing. I'm feeling a bit of nervous dance energy in the room. What do you think? Almost done. 
Ready? I'm coming oh, yeah, 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 out. Yeah, yeah, we got a finale. Finale. 30 seconds. All right, we've got 30 seconds. 30 seconds to the dance. This would be a great time to share this broadcast before the premiere of our dance. How long did it take them to prepare this? Oh, I don't know, about 40 minutes. So 40 minutes from the moment you guys gave the song to the moment we are premiering this dance piece live on Making Mondays. Please share this broadcast so all your friends can come and see what's going on. Uh, you can share us, share the post right through Facebook or on Periscope. You can bring up your controls and share us on Twitter, Facebook, or Periscope. Here we go. I feel like I just want to stare at this. So do you see Andre is, um, comes this. Jim Glaub says live is so much fun. Couldn't agree more. What's happening over here? Um, I'm making a drink for the Music Man. I don't know what I'm doing. Like Harold Hill Music Man or like Robbie <laughs> Roth Music Man? Robbie Roth Music Man. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, how long okay, here we go. <laughs> Last rehearsal. See, I have to say, as difficult as it can be to begin, it's also difficult to know when we're done. So sometimes a little push. Right, Nick? Oops, they're 85 millimeters around the fat end. This is the handle, not so heavy. Oh, actually much lighter than I expected. You can hit your head, very safe. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They're not bowling pins. Many people think that they're bowling pins. Bowling pins are heavy. Yeah, these are We're ready. Clown stuff. All right, here we go. Brian. Uh, yeah, so... Set us up. Okay, so I think the best way... Because if you're going to be... Because does this shoot from the back side as well? Nope. Or just this side? Okay, great. So what I'm going to do is just guide you around. Okay. As if you are my steady cam. Done. Okay, here we so go. You don't have to... Uh, so just point it forward, I think. Or however you want... However you are going to have it as forward. Yep. And we'll go. Okay, this is a making okay. Monday... Wait a second. Let them do presets. Okay. okay. So my idea was that... Um, one of the things I love to do is dance on film. It's like very different than doing dance in theater. Here, you've got the best seat in the it's house. It's been created specifically with you guys in mind with the prompt. We got a song. Oh no. See you walking around like it's a funeral. so serious, go out the feet. Yeah. We just get it started, don't you tiptoe, tiptoe for me. Ah, you were real life fantasy, you were real life fantasy. But you move so carefully, let's start living dangerously. I'm Oh my god! It was amazing. We did good? Okay, so I have to tell you what that felt like to know that your body knew how to do. Yes? I would love it. Amazing. Okay. I've, I've never... First time. First time. We'll I thought I had done a lot, but apparently no. Um, okay, that was extraordinary. That was totally extraordinary. Jim Glaub says encore. We're taking that on the road. All right. So Andre. Guys, take a look at... Take a look. And guys, if... Um, if anybody is interested in getting in touch with Andre, hearing what he's up to, hearing shows that he's doing, if anyone's ever interested in buying a piece, because these are yes. beautiful, beautiful pieces that he does, uh, he has an Instagram account that you can reach him at. What is your is, Instagram? It's Andre underscore Trenere. So A-N-D-R-E underscore T-R-E-N-I-E-R. -E -E and I have a feeling that this amazing piece, when it's completed, will be up on that Instagram. Yes. All right, friends. We are very grateful for this time that we have shared together with you all. 
with you all in this room. Thank you for giving us your heart and your love and your creativity and your spirit. Thank you for being a part of this experiment every week. We are making Mondays. Please follow so we can stay in touch because we're making all sorts of good friends together. As we sung you in, we sing you out. We send love to you. We send love to our friends in Orlando. We send love to everyone around the world who needs a friend. Friends, we are making Mondays. See you next time.